thy Lord, oh single, single, praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I mean, for those of you that are not new, but if you're new, welcome. My name is Lillian and today I want to do this video. There's this particular subscriber of mine that have talked about this video, that, that have talked about this school over and over. And I feel like, okay, why not? Let's do it. After all, this is not like um, a government-owned school or anything. This is a religion school. And I want to confess that when I was doing this series on senior high schools in Ghana, the truth of the matter is Anakosa, am I even pronouncing it correctly? I think I, I am. Anakosa Bible School was the, was the first school I filmed about. I don't know what happened. When I posted the Achimota School and I see the way people accepted it and then I got carried away. I went on to Adizadel and the rest. I forgot the word of God. Instead of me to remember that, seek you first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. I left God because I don't see you two views. So I left God. God, I'm sorry. Okay. You people should join me together and um, tell God to forgive me for my sin. Anyways, everything that happens in life happens at the right time, at the time that God wants it to happen. And that is what I believe strongly about this video. So today is my pleasure to take you guys to Mampong, the beautiful Mampong Hills, to show you guys this amazing school situated right there on top of the mountain of Mampong. Welcome to the campus of Anakazo Bible School, one of Ghana's prominent landmarks in the Aburi Mampong mountain region. Located in the eastern region of Ghana, the Aburi Mampong mountain range is unique for its peaceful villages nestled in a mountainous landscape. The Anakazo Bible and Ministry Training Center was founded in 1996 by the presiding bishop of the United Denominations, originating from the Lighthouse Group of Churches, Bishop Dag Hewitt Mills. The hills provide a clear view of Accra during the day and a spectacular arena of sprawling Greater Accra region in the night, hence a perfect destination for tourists and holiday makers. The eastern region is famous for being the first region to grow cocoa in Ghana. In 1879, Tete Kwashi brought the first cocoa seed from Fernando Po and planted it in the Aburi Mampong mountain range. Ghana is now the second leading producer of cocoa in the world. If you talk to anyone in the Aburi Mampong mountain range, the first thing they are likely to mention is Anakazo Bible School. With its unique modern architecture, ABS is a perfect combination of art, deco and contemporary design. There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As that day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night as the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke dada o de significance of ABS is not simply about buildings, rather it's a place dedicated to the training of men and women for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Training students who are striving for wholeness in spirit, mind and body. Students who are ready and willing to make a difference in their generation. Anakaza has a very young and active campus. Students from all over the world call this place their home. And our cousin students are very happy people. They are friendly, loving and caring. As a foreign student, I feel so much connected to the other students. I fit in perfectly. When they realize you have come from far, that is when they treat you even better because they know you have left a lot to be here. 
being here is such a wonderful experience and I'm learning something new every single day. At an Akazo Bible School, we learn the Bible, biblical textbooks, and Christian literature, and we are so proud of it. APS is not only about obtaining intellectual knowledge about the Bible and ministry, but it's a holistic training to equip us for the work of the ministry. The environment here is beautiful. The architecture is awesome. The atmosphere is good for learning, praying, and meditation. Any school can give education on diverse topics, but Anakazo trains students and bring them up to be good ministers of the gospel. ABS is dedicated to Christian activities and is for the propagation of the gospel through the preaching of the word of God, the planting of churches, and the teaching of the work of the ministry of Jesus Christ. Ah, God lives in Ghana indeed. Every corner I go, I turn here, God lives in Ghana. I turn here, God lives in Ghana. I turn here, God lives in Ghana. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Before we go back to Anakosa School, let's take a look at this man that is moving to Ghana for the gospel. In 2012, I visited a city in North Ghana called Tamale. I didn't know it then, but 13 years later, I would be quitting my nine to five, leaving my career and packing up my family of six people to move to that very city. I'm here to explain what's going on in our lives, where we've been, where we are, where we're going. In April, Cara dropped this on Facebook. And ever since then, we've been guns a blazing, getting ready to get to the mission field. But I know a lot of you guys are saying, whoa, wait, what's going on? So. Here is our very first mission report. We're looking at leaving the last week of February. We're going to spend the holidays with the family. And then at the beginning of the new year, we're going to sell off the rest of our furniture, pack up everything into bags and hit the road. Car and I have always wanted to be missionaries. 10 years ago when we were dating, it was one of the key conversations that we had about our long-term goals. Two years ago, we felt God calling us to that very city that I had visited 13 years prior. So we took a quick trip out there to scout it out, make sure it was really God calling us and see what we would do, as well as kind of figure out what it would look like for our whole family to live in West Africa. We're going over there to help local pastors plant local churches while also preaching the good news of Christ's salvation and the new life that he can give them to the surrounding villages as well as the local sub communities within the city. So with January just around the corner, we're of course wrapping things up here in the US. There's lots of little exciting things like getting passports, buying a ton of suitcases, getting visas, as well as learning how to edit videos so I can keep you in the loop. We're also working on the bigger, more exciting things like fundraising and working with our team that's in Ghana right now to get our ministry center built where we're gonna live. Right now, it looks like it's gonna be finished up around the end of November, which is awesome, because it gives us time to put on the final touches before we actually move in at the beginning of next year. I think there's something that is happening that a lot of us do not know, especially my 80s viewers in the building. Mm? I'm sorry that you believe in what you believe but i believe in what i believe i believe in god and there are places in ghana that i have visited now let me tell you guys something okay minus hyping okay this is this got nothing to do with hyping ghana but the truth is there are places i have visited in ghana that gives me that feeling that god is here it gives me that feeling that his presence is here see <laughs> I visited somewhere at the Ashanti region. I don't want to open up here because some people that don't like me will go there and benefit. So I won't talk about it, but some of you already know the place. I visited this place and the man of God I was with that day asked me, what do you want? I'm, I'm a believer of Christ, right? But I'm not a religious person. So when he asked me, what do you want God to do for you right now at the moment? <laughs> I told him I want my kids' school fees and my rent. 
I swear that was how I put it. And that was how I was doing my eyes. He could see it, he saw it, he knows I don't believe. And he told me, come. And I went closer. He told me to place my hand on this particular rock. And I placed my hand and he said, tell God what you want. Speak unto the rock. Speak in the name of Jesus. Once you're done speaking, tell God in the name of Jesus what you want and it shall be given unto you. Brethren, I did that. I descended the mountain. <laughs> Not like I believed a thing. I went down and I went straight to Lake Bosomche. That night, I just couldn't sleep because I was thinking about my kids' school fees. I was worried about so many things, my rent. That was when one of my friends here, the lady I have talked about almost all the time, said to me, babe, why are you not sleeping? It is, I think, what, what o'clock is it in Ghana? She stays in America. It's about, I think it's two o'clock or so. Oh, but you're supposed to be sleeping. What's up? And I said, babe, I'm, I can't sleep. I'm thinking, I don't know. My head is full. Like, she's okay, it's full. Like, what is that? Just tell me, what is the problem? I said, okay, I haven't paid the girl's school fees, all three of them. And as for Wendy, that's my Ghanaian baby. Her dad and I share school fees. So like he, he pays half, I pay half. But even the half, I do not have it. So she was like, oh, okay. How much is it for two of them? And I told her that night, she said, oh, okay, fine. Go to sleep. Um, drop me your contact. You're still using the same mobile money number? And I said, yes. I dropped my number and then she, she told me, oh, don't worry. Go to sleep. Uh, the school fees for two kids will be paid. I went to sleep and then the following morning, very early, I got a lot from her. Antonia school fees is more than 2,000 cities. And at, at that time, praise was in a school that I was paying 3,520 cities. I got the complete money from that babe. You see this Ghana? There is God here. God is everywhere. But trust me, there are places in this country you go to, you feel him. Let's go back to the school and see whatever we can find and I'll be back. Anakazo is a very young and vibrant campus. Students from all over the world call this place their home. As a foreign student, I feel so much connected with the other students here on campus. I fit in perfectly and I've made so many friends. When they realize that you've come from far, that is when they treat you even better because they realize that you've sacrificed a lot to come here. ABNTC is not only a place to learn about the Bible, it's also a training center to get us ready for the ministry. The environment here is beautiful and the architecture is amazing. This is a great place to be trained in order to make foolproof of your ministry. The Anakazo Bible and Ministry Training Center is more than a school. It's beautiful and a life-changing experience that will guide your ministry forever. So apply now and experience it for yourself. Anakazo graduates have also planted churches all over the world. <laughs> Senior lecturer at KN UST and pastor of uh, Lighthouse Chapel International Body. Um, I'm here at the Anacapuzo campus for a conference, and I must say that the campus is splendid, very nice, very beautiful, very serene. You have uh, greens everywhere, and the architecture is so wonderful. I mean, the way I mean, stones have been used to design the buildings, and um, it's a very you know, um, decent campus, and um, when you move around, you see that the, the, the ecosystem is so nice, and um, the facilities here are very good. I mean, if you look at the uh, utilities, the water, the electricity, everything is fantastic. I must say that uh, I must commend uh, the 
those who also maintain the facility because it's such a well maintained facility, you know, everything on point. Um, also, the restaurant is very good, it's very good, very healthy food. I think I recommend it for anyone who has an opportunity to come in this area, the Manpon area, to visit the campus and also spend a day here because honestly, it's probably the best place in the whole country, Ghana, that you can find for a campus. Thank you very much. My name is Reverend Nico Boedu from Switzerland. I am right now in the Bible School, Anakazu Bible School, and I thank God for making it possible to build such a wonderful school. And I thank God for Bishop's life. It's an amazing place. The, the atmosphere and the people are just amazing. I'm actually here for a Danny Paul camp with our bishop and the revelations that we are getting. I believe that this is a place that God has blessed and that God is going to use to send out the truth to all the nations in this world. May God bless our bishop and may God bless everyone that comes to this school. May God use them powerfully. In Jesus' mighty name, may he be glorified. Thank you. I like to tell stories, relatable ones, I mean real stories. I need to pay a visit to this place to also go pray. There are people from all around the world, Ukraine, Sweden, Russia, India, South Africans, Nigerians. There's something about Ghana. There is something about this country that a lot of us do not know. Those of us that live here, we don't really know. But me, I know. So I told you guys that the lady paid the school fees, right, for the kids. How did I now get the rent? Okay, things took a twist, right? While I was still disturbing myself about the rent, right? Children of God in the building, I was still praying for the rent to happen because I don't know how it was going to happen. You know, I've been saving up for the rents and I was looking forward that, okay, by the time it gets to the period, I'll be able to pay. While I was on it, I was served a letter from the estate telling me they have increased the rent. I cried. I made a video here. You guys were here. For those of you that were here and you didn't judge me, God will bless you. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And for those who judge me, I understand how it feels because I'm not the only one with problems. Why should I bring it out here? <laughs> so on that process of me being broken for increase that I wasn't even, I didn't expect to happen on the house, the plan of moving out came. So I wanted to move out and because I wanted to move out, I didn't have enough money left to move now i was going to remain there gather all the money i have to pay for that rent and remain there or move out but moving out i do not have money for logistic so i came out i took a bold step i came out here i begged for money and Ghanaians from around the world came through for me i i didn't allow the video to last long because i started to feel guilty immediately i got way more than i expected i wanted i was looking for five thousand cities right so i could move because that was what the truck driver told me he would need to take me and my kids and all my properties to sonyani and when i came out to talk about it just before i knew it i got way more than that so i deleted the video isn't the lord amazing at the end of the day people started to give opinion don't move to sonyani it's too far for you hang around hang around now with what i have saved and what people have given to me was enough for me to move around so i moved out and then i continued in accra instead of going to sunyani to stay which i wanted to go because of i felt like over there it would be cheaper for me so what i'm trying to say is it's taking us back to the fact that there is god here there are mountains in this country that me um I'm, i want to go i can't wait to visit again there are places you go to pray in this ghana this is ghana women are so yes if you like you can take it to be for the views but those who know you know right i don't want to mention that mountain right now because I have learned a lot in life. Some of the things you put out here, the people that truly care about you, they know about these things. The ones that don't care about you, they are the ones that will go and take advantage of it 
and even a thank you you won't get there are places i have visited and i'm just like what is wrong like, there's a feeling i get so the anakosa bible school choose its location in ghana ghana god is indeed in ghana i know i know unbelievers in the building will be like hey white people want to come no 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 please some of the schools that we have today that you and i were able to get education that help us to know about things that we know now now the same people do them they use gospel come okay so the gospel is welcome so this is what i have for you today on the anakosa school and also an and also my own testimony of the fact that God exists and the finger of God is in Ghana. In conclusion, God lives in Ghana. Yes, not for the views, basically. God is everywhere, but he is in Ghana. Like his presence is still felt. There are places you go to here, you'll be like, wow. Uh, you feel it with a certain way. Maybe this could be another reason for the peace. We just don't know. But I strongly believe that god deposited something here or a part of himself here or maybe he made here his resident place <laughs> honestly that is how i feel i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as i'll see you in my next one